Guys, what's up? It's uh, Struck is here. As you can see in the back, I've got, uh, got my CRF all loaded up. Um, got the trailer hooked up. CRF's loaded up. Uh, about to head off to Blind River. And I'm going to meet up with um, Expedition Mark. We're going over to uh, Utah today. So it's about three and a half hours up to, to Blind River. And then... Um, uh, See her off in the picture there. There you go. There she is. And then it's like 30 hours over to Utah. So uh, it's going to be a long ride. But uh, we're going to trail our bikes down to Moab. And it's going to be a blast, man. I'm telling you. I got it all prepped. I got the side racks. I got all my luggage. Uh, I just have to load up my car. And then uh, we're going to head out. So uh, I'm not going to film much up the Blind River. I got to stop at Royal and get some uh, dirt tires for this thing because we're going to swap them out probably in the dirt. But. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm in Blind River with Mark. All right, later. Well, it's really windy, but I'm here at Royal. Can you see it? No. Nope. I don't know if you can see it. Royal Distributing. I got some. Uh, I got my tires. They're the uh, Moto Z uh, intermediate terrains, but they're freaking grippy. And I got some gloves too. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna put those on before we hit the desert. Uh, or you know, I got the K270. So see if any. See if the. Uh, K270s are okay. If they're okay, I'm gonna keep them until I get back. But these are freaking, these are gnarly, man. Look at that. Look at that. I made it to Blind River and look who I found. What's up? Who's that? Is that Expedition Mark? How are you, Zai? <laughs> How are you guys? Good, man. Good. Thanks for uh, thanks for taking us on this trip, man. Hey. It's gonna be awesome. There's our bikes. Yeah. So you guys can see that. So right here. See the, well, there we go. So we got Mark's DR. Oh, I don't know how this works. Oh, hold on. It's that one. There it is. Mark's DR. And my CRF, we're loaded up, and uh, we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna go about eight, ten hours. You think, Mark? Well, it's probably till midnight, I think. Till midnight, and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna stop, and uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna camp out, hoping to get there by Monday. So I'm just, we're just gonna hammer down. So we're just waiting to get through uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, man. That's right. That's where we're going. Sioux, Mich Sioux Michigan. We are here now. We are here now. We're going through the border. Uh, border crossing. Right you can see all the cars, but oh yeah, there's a bunch of cars there. <clears throat> so slow, we're almost through. Then we're gonna book her that way for another probably what is it, 4:24, another at least six eight hours. Can make some good time. Well, we did. Uh, I don't know, 900 kilometers, uh, maybe more, and we're in Madison, and we're gonna sleep in the trailer in a Walmart parking lot. So I uh, know uh, there's Walmart right there. That's where we're staying tonight. So uh, pretty tired. It's uh, 11 o'clock at night, but with the change, it's uh, 12 as we went through a time zone. So we did some good uh, some good traveling today and we're going to uh, sleep in there. How you doing, Mark? Sweet. Yeah, sweet, buddy. All right, we're going to bed and we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, we uh, didn't sleep very well, but it's 7 in the morning, and uh, I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you can even see it. Hold on a second. Here's where we stayed last night. Uh, you can see that. Cots. Oh, so we're on the road, 7 in the morning. I don't think we 6 slept. 6.30. 6.30? Oh, my phone said 7. Uh, 7.30. Anyway, 6.30. I didn't sleep really well, and Mark didn't sleep really well either, but... Uh, we'll get used to sleeping in that thing. It uh, was comfortable, I'll tell you. A little cold. Drive six. I don't know what it was last night. Well, it's right now it's nine Celsius. Nine Celsius. I was a little cold, but should have brought my heavier bag. Whatever. I didn't think we were gonna be sleeping in the cold. Live and learn. We made it through. We're moving on. We drove about a thousand kilometers. Uh, made it to Grand. Island, Grand Island, and mm -hmm. yeah, we're having the obligatory beers. Yeah. Staying at a hotel over there, somewhere. What is it? Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. And I think we're gonna hit Moab tomorrow. Uh, no rush. No rush, but I think we're, we're like we're like ten hours and 50, 50 minutes. So I think we're gonna get real close. So and then the fun's gonna happen. You just watch. Hey, Bruce. Yeah, I'm sure these aren't attractive videos, but I'm still, still going to include them because it's funny. When you're on the road, you end up drinking beers and you end up getting kind of wasted, dude. I 
I've got uh, I got a beer in a fucking paper bag, and I'm about to get run over. Even though they got a stop sign, it's uh, it's all good, man. We're gonna make it work. I'm going back to the hotel now. It's only like 8:43. It's only 8:43. It's not like it's really late. Time zone included, it'd be 9.43. It's not that late. I'm 37. I'm not that old. <laughs> I can have another beer, dude. But trying to track it down is a lot easier in the States than it is in Canada, man. I'm telling you. Canada, it's a beer store. In the States, it's a corner store. But even that's hard to find, man. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the hotel. Later. We both got some good sleep. And uh, we're on the road again. Nebraska, I think we're almost out, and uh, we're going to be into Colorado, and we're hoping to land at least close to Utah tonight and get, get another room, I think, just so then the next day we can just go and get set up, but making good time, the traffic's not too bad, you guys can see it again. that's what we've been dealing with, just lots and lots of farmland, and not much else, so I'm sure the, uh, the scenery's going to get, you know, more rocky as we get into Colorado, and shouldn't be too long. different than what we're used to. We uh, we were on, uh, I don't know if I can tell you that, man. We were in farm country for forever, and now we're here, so, yeah. We're making good time, we're almost at the hotel, and this is really, really friggin' nice now. So we're coming uh, through the mountains. Uh, when we were in, uh, just outside the Colorado, it was 33 degrees Celsius. And it went down to 7 now. It was 6. So we lost 27 degrees Celsius in like, what, 200 kilometers? Yeah. It's crazy. So we're just coming through this tunnel, all the hills and stuff. It's uh, pretty neat out here, man. It's cool. Big difference from uh, the flats to now the hills. It's awesome. Coming out, I don't know what to expect here, but everybody's breaking. Something's gonna happen. Oh, there we go. Into the rain. <laughs> anyway, this is a cool spot, man. I'm loving it here. I'd like to ride all these hills. Right there. That, they look pretty nuts. Well, another night, another holiday. Uh, we're in Grand Junction, about an hour and a half out of uh, Moab. So we're real close to the border of Utah. We're right at the edge of uh, Colorado. We did some, some cool uh, cool stuff today, a bunch of hills and stuff like that. Um, huge mountains and it was awesome. Weird how uh, different it is. It's like it was flat for the longest time and then you get massive hills and then now we're into canyons and stuff. It's uh, it's cool how it changes. And the temperature was hot and then it went cool and then it went hot again. So you drive through a bunch of different things when you're coming this way, but it's, uh, it's neat to see the different uh, landscapes and temperatures and stuff like that. But uh, we're gonna grab a beer and maybe a bite to eat. And carry on tomorrow. We're we're making it there tomorrow. It's that's an hour and a half. That's it. We're done. We're going. Ah, oh, yeah. After a hard day of riding, eh? Gotta have one of these. You guys can't see that sunset back there, but awesome sunset, man. Look at that. There you go. There you can see the sunset. Another holiday in, and uh, just relaxing. So Mark tapped out, it's uh, almost 10 o'clock, uh, we had a few beers out here on the, the terrace. It's a really nice place, all the Americans have been fucking amazing dude, I'm telling you. Uh, there's a oil, oil tycoon kind of convention going on, you guys are from Texas and, and uh, Houston and uh, uh, Louisiana, uh, really cool guys, we talked to them all night and uh, yeah, Mark's, Mark's done, he's had a few drinks, he's going back to the room. Uh, and I'm just, I'm, I want one more. I've had this session beer. It's a local, local brewed beer. It's, it's good. Uh, but we're in, uh, was it Grand Junction? Again, I don't know if I mentioned that. Probably did. Everybody's friendly here. It's amazing. This is just a really good time. And we haven't even hit the good stuff yet. Uh, tomorrow it's an hour and a half to Moab. Uh, we're gonna hit the uh, information session place, like get to get the maps and. Uh, and then just get a lay of the land. I think we're going to get a campground 
if we get a campground, we'll just park the stuff, maybe get our bikes out, uh, and get a lay of the land. I gotta get some uh, freeze-dried food for like the trips overnight and stuff like that. So it's just a really fun time. I, I recommend this to anybody. Just take a couple weeks, get a buddy, and I just have a road trip, man. Just have a, even if you don't have any, if you even if you don't have a plan, get on a get on a car, get on a bike. Just don't be in a rush. As rushing is is different if you rush. Just just relax, you know. Just do the thing. Do you do what you want to do? Just have a passion. It's it's a big different, a big difference when you just you just don't give a shit. And if you don't give a shit where you're going, what you're doing, it's, it's amazing, man. It's just amazing. So I recommend this to anybody. We're just end of the night. I'm having another beer, and I'm just out here by myself, uh, it's just enjoying life. This is it's amazing. It's a good time. Anyway, I'll see you uh, tomorrow when I wake up. We all woke up, fed, we're leaving the uh, Holiday Inn um, in the parking lot here. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can see. There's just tons of these rock crawlers, man. Everybody's going to uh, the Moab. We're about an hour and a half out uh, from Moab City. And I just spilled coffee all over myself. Uh, but yeah, it's cool how everybody's kind of... And you talk to the locals, they're like, oh, you guys are going to have a blast, man. It's, uh, it's cool. So we're going to head on next stop, Walmart, and then on to Moab. So let's get this done. Enough of this driving shit. Well, we are officially 37 kilometers outside of Moab. We are in Utah. Yeah, Mark driving away over there. I think that's... Ah. Yeah, it's just all desert, man. It's cool. Very cool way different than where we're where we're from but give me some good riding here shortly we made it downtown moab we uh made, we made some good time and uh now we're just gonna get some information of this tourist center over here and we're gonna head out and do some uh potash potash road so yeah mark's taking up his picture and i'm doing a little vlog of route anyway we made it man it's awesome it's cool. It's freaking hot down here. Like 30 some degrees, man. Whew. We're gonna be sweating on the bikes. It looks like we made it. We got our bikes there. Mark's trailer, truck. Uh, we're staying at this place called JT's. JR's. JR's Desert Inn. Uh, got a pretty good rate. We're gonna stay here for five nights. We were gonna do some loops and camp. Uh, we went to the tourist information center. I'm gonna get out of this heat because it is freaking hot, dude. Anyway, I'll leave the backgrounds for you guys, so there you go. Um, we were going to camp and stuff. They told us you can't camp uh, without a toilet now. You can't camp without a toilet because there's too many people. Everybody's, you know, doing their thing, and it's it's becoming an issue. So you have to have a toilet. Well, I don't think we can carry a toilet on our on our bikes, you know. It's kind of shitty, pun intended. Um, so it's what it's going to be, man. We're going to stay here five nights. And all the trails are, like, they're just everywhere. So we're just going to spend five nights here checking it out. Uh, doing different trails, you know, even if you have to ride half an hour, 45 minutes to a trail, we got our bikes. That's what we. That's what we're here to do. We want to take the time and enjoy it. So we got a good rate. We're staying here five days. We might extend it if we, you know, we want to spend more time. We might extend it. Uh, but right now, this is uh, this is where we're at. We got the AC going. Uh, you know, and the bike's gonna be nice and light because I don't have to carry camping gear. Go more places. We're gonna do day trips. It is hot. It's hot, man. It's like 33 degrees and uh, ugh, it's hot but they say it's gonna go down 10 degrees tonight, and then for the rest, it's about 10 degrees, which is Fahrenheit, so it's gonna be, you know, probably 28s, 27s, which is okay, it's good, I'm good with that. But right now, I think we're gonna, we're gonna get on our bikes for a little ride, I think. <laughs> 